Speaking about Central Europe at the moment, we mostly speak about Poland, Czech Republic and Slovakia. Um, financing for the other countries like Romania, Hungary or even Bulgaria is very difficult to achieve. In general, I can say that uh, the overall situation, the financing situation, the lenders market has not changed over the last six to nine months dramatically. You still get financing for different kind of products in different kind of markets, but it very much depends from whom you get the money. I mean, at the end, we more or less have three different kind of groups which are lending out there at the moment, especially in Poland, for example, you have for the development loans, you have mostly the local banks, part of them owned by international shareholders, but they are more or less concentrating on development loans, which is why they are supporting um, uh, the still ongoing pipeline of new developments in Poland. The second group, and especially in smaller countries or in countries like Hungary, or Romania or Bulgaria, is the more local banks, also by international investors, which are at least willing to extend maturing loans to the shareholders or to the, to, the, to the borrowers. And then you have the third group, which is more or less the German lenders. Not all of them still active. Um, uh, some of them are in the meantime completely out of the market. But you have some, I would say, four or five big German lenders which are still active in, in uh, Central Europe, especially in Central Europe, Poland, Czech Republic. Um, here financing is available. It's available for, uh, for all kind of products, office, retail, logistic, and it's available for on the property basis for up to 100 million euros per property on a financing volume here. If you have more requests from the borrowers in terms of financing volume, usually like for example the, the transaction like the park in Prague where Hellebar teamed up with another bank and provided a loan for an acquisition which is almost 300 million of, of, of purchase price here. So financing is available. The good news is the prices are still on a very reasonable level, at least for the banks here. Um, but funding is also available for the banks here. So I think that also in 2014, um, from the banking perspective, it should become another very, very good year. Financing, money, liquidity is available. There are products out there. There are investors out there, investors with equity. So for 2014, at least from the financing side, I'm pretty optimistic. Um, Let's see what the year brings.